special education teacher says she tried to help her students during the Atlanta public schools test cheating scandal, but instead she lost her job. New at 6, Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in downtown Atlanta. And Mark, her lawyer says her evaluations changed from good to bad after she blew the whistle. And this is a whistleblower lawsuit before Judge Gail Tucson. Imogene uh, Redwine's lawyer acknowledges by the time Ms. Redwine lost her job, Beverly Hall was no longer superintendent, but she alleges the new administration did not get rid of all the bad apples. Imogene Redwine did what she did to protect the children. We ask you to focus on one teacher's performance. That's what this case is about. The case could come down to the question of whether Imogene Redwine is a casualty of coming forward to help expose the Atlanta Public Schools cheating scandal. Trial of a lawsuit. Ms. Redwine began to blow the whistle starting back in 2007. Imogene Redwine's position, according to her lawyer Julie Oinanen, is that she got good evaluations for years as a special ed teacher. But after she blew the whistle on allegations of cheating at Brown Middle School, things changed. And during the time she cooperated with the GBI and the Fulton County District attorney she was targeted she testified in the grand jury in 2013 Ms. Oinanen suggests in the 2013-2014 school year, as Ms. Redwine continued to work with the DA, she got bad evaluations. Her lawyer suggested were shaded to get rid of her, and she lost her job. Three member tribunal said the non-renewal stands. Jana Nugent, representing Atlanta Public Schools, said the non-renewal of Imogene Redwine's contract had nothing to do with the cheating scandal or her cooperation. This case has nothing to do with the CRCT. Ms. Nugent alleges under enhanced state standards, Ms. Redwine was late at less than proficient on some, though not all of her evaluations, and she lost her job based strictly on job performance. Teachers who made reports of cheating, we found time and again had the tables turned and they became the one on the defensive. First witness, Bob Wilson. He said he was one of the governor's special investigators on the cheating scandal. Are you aware of anyone at Brown interfering with your investigation? I am not. Next, Fonnie Willis, a key APS case prosecutor. So the Redwine side's position, quoting a document, Ms. Redwine was gravely concerned that learning disabled students who struggled to read and write were obtaining such inflated scores that they were testing out of their special education status. The defense maintains the administrators in place at the time she lost her job were trying to safeguard the services to which special ed students were entitled. Reporting live outside the Fulton County Courthouse, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. We have more details on the APS test cheating scandal. In June 2009, a state investigation found strong evidence of cheating on retest at one school. In July 2011, state investigators released a report naming 178 educators at 44 schools. A jury found 11 of 12 educators guilty in 2015. Others entered into plea deals.